In this video, we will cover the inventory settings of your Blaze Retail system. This is where you will build your different inventory locations to be assigned to terminals or for moving your inventory around. To access the inventory section, select Global Settings at the bottom of the nav bar. Once the screen is loaded up, select Current Shop Settings and then Inventories. As always, please look to the top right corner of your screen to ensure you're making changes for the correct shop. After clicking to the Inventories tab, the screen you're brought to represents the current inventories that are set up in your system. To add an inventory, choose the Add Inventory button at the top right. When selected, a new row will populate above the existing inventories. You are able to name the inventory, select the region, and set it to Active. Once you've completed this, select the Save button. Now this inventory is able to be added to a terminal. There are two inventories that cannot be deleted and can only have the region edited. That is the exchange and safe inventory. The safe inventory by default will house the entire shop's sellable inventory. When an item is sold, it will come out of this inventory, unless you've created additional terminals with different assigned inventories. The exchange inventory was created for you to be able to transfer units that should not be a part of your store's inventory, like defective or returned items. If you're utilizing the Blaze Retail System for delivery as well, you can build inventory specifically for your drivers. This concludes our inventory settings training. More information about inventory reconciliation, transfers, and adding new products to your inventory will be covered in later videos. Have a great day.